to help us illustrate even further the form is drawing the seam lines on the, um, the highest point of the arc of every form by drawing a seam line like this is the highest point here like on the side of a pants here see here 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 so the side of the form would be the highest point of the arc yeah so this is the highest point of the arc on on his thigh highest point on the arc on his knee highest point on his shin side of his knee highest point on his knee on his shin on his foot center of his torso this is his head the front this will indicate the front of his head this will indicate the side of his head so if you guys want try out this exercise do three of these three I believe that doing things three times really really sends the message home once you know you get you do it rough the second one you get better third one is just polishing so the minimum of three, practice doing three mummies. You can do the same mummy or three different poses, so three different mummies. Okay, and lastly, we'll do the forms of the weapons that he's holding on a separate layer. This angle here is working nicely for the uh, sword. Cool. Show a little bit of, of, of dimension here for the knife here. Here. The back of the blade again, another, another ellipse here. Constantly think about your ellipses. This is cool. Remember ellipses. All right. This is working. That shape is working. That was cool. Come down. And we're gonna draw through the drawing just like that. Just like you have there. And keep the direction of your sword in that direction. Looking nice there. Alright, and you see this right here, this little indication of um, a sheath. Change the direction. So how do we change something that's a square? You don't want it to wrap, right? So instead of wrapping, what you do is come down and then change directions. see if that so come down here and change directions so essentially you are wrapping around that object and that continues the form we can do the the sheath all the way down here there same thing for this sword we're gonna see the top of that sword all right because it's lower okay Follow the direction, just like that. And for his hand, again, keep in mind, keep everything streamlined. It wraps around the object, right? Just like that, it wraps around the object. So here's the knuckles, comes back here, like that. I kind of a rough idea of how I would approach that. This fingertip here. See? Knuckles. Fingertip. There you have it, our mummy. So now I'm just gonna go over and draw completely over the, uh, the original drawing we had. All right, and it's going to be really rough and really fast, quick and easy. Let's make another duplicate layer of our original, because the other one has some red on it. All right. So I'm going to go really fast and just apply all the techniques that we learned. All right, so his head, all right, bigger head, bigger eyes, bigger leg, some foreshortening there. I'm just doing some really rough editing so I could set me up for um, a draw over. It looks a bit big, but that's okay. Shrink his foot like that. Bow, 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 bow. Turtle, 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 turt
Turtle, turtle. Okay. So what I want to do is lighten up the layer underneath the drawing. But when you do that, you see the original drawing. So what you want to do is take that white layer and block off the original drawing. Move it down. Now, now when I take the opacity down right here, lighten that drawing, nothing shows up underneath. But if I turn off the white drawing, then you can see the original drawing. Okay, so let's get right into it. Word. Really cool detail. I want you to keep all the details you had, but just keep all the rules and techniques that I taught you uh, for next time. So I'm going to speed up the video now and just draw really scribbly, really fast, and uh, go out around level 9000, and uh, just pay close attention to all the principles that we talked about. I'm sure you guys can catch them. So sit back and enjoy. So now you can recognize the issues that you might have not been able to see before and it'll start making more and more sense, it'll, but the more you practice, the more you're going to get better. So I marked in red the things that you should pay attention to in moving forward. So there you have it. Now remember the value is only here to help us illustrate the, the figure, It's not. this isn't a value uh, tutorial. So yeah, you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it for you guys. Thanks for watching, and um, please subscribe. If you guys um, like the video, um, subscribe. I know I don't like to bug people about subscribing. You guys will do it if you guys want to, but um, yeah, that would really help if you guys can subscribe. And um, yeah, that's it. So until next time, uh, keep drawing, be patient. Don't be discouraged. I'm, I'm here to help. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Good luck. Bye-bye.